Alright. Room 109, there is nothing here. Room 110, we are attacked by a pair of acid squelches. Okay. Special! Take one of these guys out, so let's put that one to sleep. And we can concentrate on the other one. Kick! Ooh, that's not nice. Uh, Nicole, yep, yeah, you're at full, full mana, so let's... See if we can take one of these out quickly. Brilliant job. So, punch. And kick. Okay. And... Jab. Yeah, let's, let's not rush here. There we go, got him. Kill the moldy chicken! Death! To the moldy chicken, Heather's gained a level. Excellent. Found a dozen diet sodas. Nicole picks up the couple of six packs of soda. Why are you bothering with that? It helped me recharge your energy. It's artificially flavored, zero calorie, caffeine free diet soda. It has no nutritional value whatsoever. Yuck, what are we supposed to do with this? I don't know. Throw it at the monsters. At least the cans will hurt. <laughs> uh, um, diet sodas. Let's just click on one of those and see what it says. Click on a party. Uh, the cans are heavy, so uh, okay, so we can use them as an item. All right, fair enough. All right, and let's see what Heather gets. Level up points remaining. Uh, slap, better slingshot, egg cage. We're not really using egg cage, which we should actually, because it's a uh, quite a good defensive spell. Um, better slingshot we don't need to up. He's got plenty of... okay, um... Let's just do damage, shall we? Feed me, Seema! Feed me now! Oh, yes. Uh, I'll probably get a copyright strike for that. The, you, the room is sometimes used as a factory for construction paper chains. There is nothing here. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go up. Alright, bridge to the main school. An axis squelch, a bait squelch, and a neutral squelch. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? Right, special. Let's do it. Uh, okay, wrong one. Um. Do, 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 do. Uh, right, hypnotize the acid squelch. Okay, and then... Nerf pinched the base squash. See if we can paralyze it. Yes, we paralyzed it. No. And... Lightning Bolt, the neutral one. Good. Okay, so let's gang up on the one that's uh, awake now, the base squash. And... Let's beat up this one. Yeah. Kick. No. Jab. Oh dear. It's quite an agile moldy chicken, isn't it? Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Alright, so we'll go up. All right, and let's see what's in these rooms up here. Oh, we missed one, but no, we'll do it again later. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Mm, nothing in there. Starting to notice a pattern here. Right. Okay, uh, let's just do that last room. Go east. Right, I think we have one room left to do. Alright, so... Go down, go to the hallway. Time to do this, guys. Bye, Kelly!
All right, okay, well, we're going to attack first. All right, all right, so... Swap you out for Heather, because we're going to need your skills soon. Special. Uh... Actually, no, let's swap you out for Andrea. Special stink bomb. Let's do the nice area effect spells. And that's why we want to do the nice area effect spells. And Nicole, you're in good shape. So let's, let's do special. Let's do a fireball. Let's thin things down a bit. Uh, defend. Do it. No, we can't do another fireball. Jab. Let's just Nyan. kill some of these off. Nyan. Kill off the rest. Excellent. Okay, special lightning. Hang on, let's soft it up a bit. There's two versions of that film, is there? Uh, you want the one with Steve Martin and Rick Moranis, I would say. Swap you out now. Let's swap you out for... Uh, pizza. Actually, we should swap Nicole out so she regens a bit. Should we put short me out for Jennifer? I think. Yeah. And we've got some healing on hand. People are starting to get a little bit hurt. That's not going to help us. Um, because it's funny. Yeah, got him. Oh, these two are nearly level five. Excellent. Right. Just in case, let's do a bit of heating up and that on people here. So Heather's all right. Um, let's do some coffee. Uh, let's do some donuts rather on pizza. Pizza and donuts. There's an interesting combination. Jennifer could use a little bit... Of, actually, Nicole could use more in the way of spell points. Uh, yeah, let's use that on Nicole. Okay, uh, just one more on Andrea there. There we go. Right. Okay. Let's do this, shall we? Save the game. Let's go and see what the big boss is like. Somewhere ahead of us, a giant monster lurks. Are we ready to face it? We have no choice. We've explored everything else. Attack! Oh dear. Oh dear. It's just engulfed poor Andrea. Oh dear. <laughs> Right, special. Um, okay, let's do an affirmation on ourselves. Let's give ourselves a bit of a buff. Um, our specials are first aid and nerve pinch. Actually, nerve pinch would work quite well at the start of this, I think. Gertigator. Uh, and our specials are risk analysis and spam. Good, let's find out what we can about it. Now we'll probably swap her out for a little bit. Special attacks. Suck. Spit. Raw. Fall back. Summon. Resist. Stun. Okay. So, yeah, definitely boss here, isn't it? Ow! Ow! 
Do you see how much damage that did there? Alright, special. Uh, no, that's no goodness. Let's just punch the thing. Go to get you. Ah, it's hardly any damage at all. Alright, let's get some first aids down here on Andrea. Because she's very low on hit points. And your specials are used to us. Poison, definitely. Let's stick some poison down on it. Did that poison it? Yeah, that poisoned it. Okay, yeah, okay. I can see the little poison icon there. Pull back. All right. Okay, so... Quick kick in the fundamentals. And let's swap you out, actually. Uh, who should we have? Mm, Nicole, I think. When that guy comes back, I won't have a uh, chuck and hot and lightning bolts at it. Okay, so... Special... Yeah, ba -da, ba -da, ba da Yeah, let's do that on Jennifer. Okay, and our specials are... Yeah, let's... Okay, I think it's probably going to be the last one of those we do, to be totally honest with you. Lightning! Yeah, nice bit of damage. Banana spiders are annoying, but they're not the end of the world. Right. The buff Nicole. A little bit of damage to it. I think we'll just suck up the damage for a little bit. Because as you can see, we're actually doing poison damage to uh, the boss while it's uh, summoned. Do we want to heal anyone? Yeah, I think actually we want to chuck a heal at uh, Missy. There we go, that's excellent. Slowly getting through this guy, not really a problem. It does a little bit of poison damage, but that's not the end of the world for us. Punch. So let's just kill the thing. Oh, something I wanted to try. Item. Diet soda. Okay, it does a bit of damage. Oh, sorry to hear that, Gertie Gert Simmons, but I was chucking it up on uh, YouTube as usual, so not a great loss. Right, punch that. Okay. Uh, let's do a bit of healing. Special first aid on pizza. There we go. All right, marvellous. Uh, punching the teeth, and it's gone. Excellent work. All right, so punch the Goethe Gator. And what are we done to do with you? What do we want to do with you? Everyone's healed up. Actually, I think we want to swap you out for a moment. Um, who do we want? Missy doesn't do much damage. Andrea, let's do Andrea, let's get the guy poisoned again. Special poison. <laughs> we are watching a battle with bated breath. Yes, just how well can Simon screw this one up? Very good question, let's find out. Lightning! Must be close to killing it by now. Oh, yeah, I tell you, this guy really does suck. Sorry about that. You do one more lightning bolt, you can do one more lightning bolt. It healed itself! Oh man! 
Uh, special poison. Uh, special. Right, let's have a quick look at it. See where we are. 26 and 99. So we are hurting it. Okay. So we are getting there. Alright, so it spits it out. That's a bit of damage while spitting them out. Punch. Oh, actually, no. Special affirmation on Andrea. There we go, let's buff Andrea. Okay. Nicole is low on spell points, but can you get one more lightning bolt out? That'd be good if you can. You can, excellent. And that does it! We believe in you, Simon. Summon your inner Damien. Oh, yes. I don't think even even my inner Damien would uh, want to suck that. All right. We did it. Uh, Andrea and Missy leveled up. All right. We're great. She and Jennifer high-five each other. Peter, look at this. Near the door, there's a pile of junk, but not just any junk. Hair brushes. Lots of hair brushes in different styles, which must have come from bro the broken open lockers. And mixed in that with the brushes are a number of smooth wooden sticks. What was he doing with those? I don't know. Building a nest, maybe. Ah, huh, let's never see. That's no nest. It's all pokey and it would hurt to sit on. And there's no holes in the floor to, to need blocking up. Maybe it wanted a rough surface to rub against, except with those tentacles it would scratch its own back. Wait, look. I pick up one of the sticks. It's about eight inches long with a ring of silvery metal around one end. This is one of the paintbrushes that were missing from the art room, but look, all the bristles are gone. Very clever, detective. I nudge the pile of hairbrushes with my foot, stirring them around. There's not a single strand of hair on any of these. <laughs> Alien chemicals might have melted all the hair away. Why would these monsters pour chemicals on brushes? What do these poor brushes do to them? Not poured. If these monsters ate the brushes, then the chemicals could be inside them. But then how would these get here? <laughs> I drop the paintbrush and wipe my hand on my skirt. I could be wrong. I don't want to think about it. There is the main entrance. There is nothing here. Right, we can go out. I think I want to save before we make that decision. Let's do these levels up anyway, so... Uh... Alright, let's do... Let's up Stink Bomb. Because that's actually quite a nice damage spell there. So we'll apply those changes, and... Missy... Spam or sweep. Yeah, da 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 da. Actually, that's. Actually, you don't use much in the way of spell points, do you? Let's up this. There we go. Now you use a lot of spell points. Ah, annoying. Okay, apply changes. Back. Let's. Well, okay, actually. <laughs> I like the logic of this. This is the reason why it's attacking a girl's school is because of all the hair. And the teacher it didn't attack? Bald. <laughs> Save game. Here we go. Alright. Turn. Let's go out. We push the main doors open and creep quietly outside. It's a pleasant sunny afternoon. A bird chirps in the distance. Everything seems normal. What happened to Miss Briar and Miss Bullfinch? We saw them fighting out here earlier. Maybe they've been taken captive. Look, their cars are gone. They probably got away from the monsters and went home. And left all those monsters running around loose. When people are too afraid to fight something, they often hope that it'll go away on their own. See you, Favrog. Take care. Well, sometimes that works. But sometimes you have to take action. Scan the area. Those monsters must be coming from somewhere. Aye, aye, Captain. Once again, she adjusts her lenses and takes a look around. 
There's something moving around by the swimming pool. And a structure that shouldn't be there. A building? No. Build a big enough phone booth, mind, but not as big as a garden shed. I can't see well enough. Let's go check it out. Hold your horses. If we just charge straight across the track and field area, any idiot could see us coming. We should sneak around the edge of the fences. There are bushes to hide in. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We stealthily edge our way around the school sports field. Almost there. We should be able to peek through this big hedge. Wait. Where did this big hedge come from? Hey! It's got my hair! It's got my hair! <laughs> it's a hair-eating monster. Let's get me down! Jennifer is trapped. We have to save her. Okay, so we've lost Jennifer, which is annoying because she's our healer. Uh, right, so punch the hedge. Yeah. Resist punching. Excellent. So, we'll so swap you out. Uh, swap. Or uh, Missy. Missy specials. Just do a risk analysis. Have a look at the hedge. Special attacks none, but 59 hit points. Okay. Special. See if we can poison it. Poison. Excellent. We've actually done some damage to it. Right. Yeah. Alright, we can punch it though. Okay, good. Alright. Ah, uh, it's defending, obviously, isn't it? So. But it's not doing much. Let's just punch the thing to death. It gives our spellcasters a chance to heal up as well. Alright, slide. Slide with it. Slide with it. This is going to take a while. I'm glad we poisoned it now. Uh, sticking peace and ease a heal. Where's our healer? Our healer is out of this fight. Slide. Might have to move pizza back. Ow! Right, swap you out for Nicole. Nicole has got enough for, for a lightning bolt. There you go, that's carried it a bit. And let's give it another poison. Well, can Simon really, really not fight a hedge? Well, I think Gurley's just uh, volunteered to do the next one of these by the sounds of it. Poison. Excellent. Please bear in mind we're close to the end game now. This is one of the tougher monsters, this hedge. And it's dead. Alrighty. As the hedge beast falls, Jennifer finally struggles free of its grip. Ow! Are you alright? It feels like every follicle in my head hurts. The stupid thing was trying to pull out my hair. And all those brushes the big one was collecting had no hair. And they took Mr. Briar's toupee. Could it be that the monsters are stealing hair? So that would mean Mr. Painsley wasn't changed by the monsters because he's not hasn't got enough hair for them to bother with. But why would anyone want our hair? I don't know enough yet to take anything more than a wild guess. Maybe that structure you saw by the pool will tell us more. Now the hedge is out of the way, we can proceed. A giant wooden window stands incongruously by the side of the pool. The centre is not glass, but something dark and swirling. What is that? An altar? Part of a house? The entrance to an invisible spaceship? The structure makes a high-pitched noise and we all flatten ourselves to the ground. A tiny flying creature with propeller leaves on top suddenly appears in the centre of the dark area and buzzes away towards the school, not noticing us. Ooh, don't you see? It's a Stargate, an interdimensional portal. If it leads to another planet, then it's not another dimension. That's just twisting through other dimensions to end up in a different place. 
if it twists through other dimensions, then it makes it interdimensional. Not exactly. Hyperdimensional would be more accurate. What's the difference? Worry about the semantics later. The important thing is, this is where the aliens come from. How do we turn it off? I need a closer look. For I can't find the controls. How am I supposed to reprogram this? Maybe it's control from the other side. Yeah, but with no controls, there's no way to know what's on the other side. It could take us right into a blizzard or somewhere with super gravity that crushes us. If the gravity were much stronger on the other side, the hole would be sucking in air. Besides, if the monsters can survive on both sides, they're probably not that different. This is right, though. You have to be prepared for everything. That could open up in the heart of an alien city or a monster king's throne room. What do we need to, to do to explore another world? To save the game. Good idea. We should pack food. Anything we find on an alien world might not be safe to eat. Flashlights and rope, too. We don't know what we might need to explore. There was a flashlight in the storeroom. And a rope? Maybe. Let's go. We return to collect more supplies. See you, Gary. Alright, so there is more to this. Alright, okay, so... What's the time? Oh, good lord, it is nearly 10 o'clock. And this actually seems like a good place to stop. What do you guys think of this game? Let's save the game here. What do you guys think of this? Okay, excellent. Well, let's do that then. I've, I've saved it. I'm going to quit now. I'm going to take a five minute break and get myself a cup of coffee. And then I will be back in a little bit with Agrarian Skies. So, until then, I will see you guys in a little bit.